your Hive radiator valve replaces your existing radiator controls, so installing them yourself is easy. Just make sure you have a compatible thermostatic valve, which has a numeric dial rather than just on-off or plus-minus markings. There's no need to drain your radiator as long as you already have a compatible valve. If you're unsure, the Hive app will also guide you through the entire installation process. Now let's get started. First, set your existing control to its highest number. Then unscrew the head of your existing thermostatic radiator valve. Most radiator controls can be removed by unscrewing the valve securing ring. Next, you'll need to select the correct adapter to fit your Hive radiator valve to your existing valve body. We supply adapters for the most common valve types in the box. Most valves will require the M30 adapter. Slip the M30 adapter over the radiator valve and screw clockwise until securely fastened. If your adapter looks like the RA valve, find the RA adapter in the box, the only adapter that has a hex key screw. Slip the RA adapter over the radiator valve and then use the hex key provided to securely fasten it. Make sure you fit the adapter the right way up with the thread facing upwards. If you need a different type of adapter, please contact our support team who can get you sorted right away. Then prepare your new Hive radiator valve with the provided batteries. Press down on the tab and slide the casing off the valve, insert batteries and slide the casing back on. Now check that the power is working by looking at the valve screen. The screen will show an M to let you know that it is ready to be fitted to your radiator. Screw the radiator valve onto the adapter, rotating clockwise until you hear a click. Then rotate the casing back the other way until you can see the screen. Once your Hive radiator valve is fitted, it's time to pair it to a Hive hub using the Hive app. Make sure you download and open the Hive app and follow the directions to pair a new device. You'll be prompted to name the radiator valve. We recommend using the name of the room the valve is in, for example, bedroom. Once you've given your new radiator valve a name, your installation is complete. You can now control it directly or remotely through the Hive app.